Try not to think about a pink elephant. Why do you immediately have to picture one? Welcome to another Bite Size Life Hack. In this episode, we're going to show you how associate activation triggers a process in our brain that we only partially consciously register. Before we are consciously thinking about a word association, like the pink elephant, our brain already subconsciously goes through a process of how we would react to this word combination as if we are actually experiencing it. All of this happens completely automatic, effortless and beyond our control. And the name of this process is associative activation. Let's see how this unfolds. After hearing these two words, pink elephant, we subconsciously react to them as if we were actually seeing a pink elephant. We evoke a mental image that then triggers emotions, memories and ideas we have with regards to elephants, the color pink or those two in combination. These mental associations then activate a cascade of brain activity, like those emotions, memories and ideas, which then activate others and others. Most of this happens hidden in our subconscious mind and we'll only knowingly register a few of them in our conscious mind. Either way, the associations in our brain activated by the words pink elephant will then become visible to the outside world through our facial expressions and other reactions. What our brain also does is two more things. First, coherence. We're trying to make sense of the world around us and even find coherent stories, for example, for our mental image of a pink elephant. We see this mental image through the lens of our worldview and tell ourselves a story on how this fits in, which then further supports and strengthens our worldview, or as other people might say, the bubble we live in. Second, awareness. After the associate activation of a pink elephant, we are now unusually ready to recognize and respond to objects and words that are associated with either pink or elephant, and we seem to find them everywhere for a while. Or at least so we think. Here is how we can practically apply associate activation. First, we need to understand that through associate activation our brain handles an input, such as the word combination pink elephant, and we mostly subconsciously and only partially consciously react to it as if we are actually experiencing it, especially through mental images, thoughts, emotions and facial expressions. Second, the world is much less coherent than we think, and yet, through associate activation, we automatically try to make sense of everything around us in a coherent way. So, when we recognize this, we can challenge our beliefs and constructed coherence, and we can also catch ourselves when we try to align the world around us with our worldview. Third, after having gone through the process of associate activation, like with the pink elephant example, we can check out if we recognize those things more often, simply because we just have been made aware of them. And fourth, now that we know about associate activation, we can play around with it and evoke mental pictures, thoughts, emotions and facial expressions in other people and see how they too go through the aforementioned steps. For more information on associate activation, check out the link in the description below to the book Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman. And for more life hacks just like this, check out one of the recommended videos and consider subscribing. Now it's your turn. How would you apply this theory to your daily life? Let us know your hack in the comments below and inspire us all improving our lives step by step. And above all, stay awesome.